Welcome back to another video. My name's Thomas Gelder. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. Well, to something dream. is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Well, that was pretty great. Since it sucks on the previous video, I was also in a vest. And I don't want to feel like I'm showing off for that. I've not been to show off anyway. So, in today's video, it's going to be an interesting one. We're going to do an eye visual effects transition. I don't know why it's doing that. Bruh. What does this consist of? This consists of keying two clips, so one of your eye, and then one of the other video clip you're going to be using in the next sequence. And then, just your creativity really. That's all you need. One more thing, we need Premiere Pro. So let's get into the editing suite and see how we do this. So now we're in the editing suite, let's drag and drop the eye clip. From here, let's do the zoom that we already need, so therefore it saves time when it comes to keying. So, from when I open my eyes, I want it to slowly start zooming in and in the end of the clip when I want it to stop I want it to fully zoom into the eye which is going to then transition into the next clip. So what we're going to do next is drag our next clip that we're going to be transitioning into on top of the eye clip. So what we're going to do now is bring the opacity to 50 or 40 just so we can see the clip underneath it. From here we're going to go on opacity, go on the key tool and then key out from when the eye opens. This is going to cause the eye effect. This is going to make it feel like we're opening our eyes and we can see the clip. So like we're seeing a vision. And then as it zooms in, you're going to have to mess around with the keying and make it a bit bigger and whatnot. But it's pretty simple stuff. Now, as we get to the end of the eye clip, we want to bring the opacity of the top clip to 100%. So make sure you press key at 50% just before it zooms in. And as it's zooming in to the next clip, make sure that's going up to 100%. And to add some more effects and make it look more realistic or more cool, you can add a blur into it as it's zooming in, just so it adds that motion blur. And there we have it, as simple as that. Literally done this within less than two minutes. And there we have it, it's as simple as that. Like I said, I wanna keep it effective, I wanna keep it all in one program and easy to do. Like everyone working on the time, everyone wants a project to be fast, but they also want to make it look professional and that's what I'm here to do I'm here to work on a budget make it easy and fast and make it look professional if you've got any tips or anything like that make sure you DM me on Instagram that's where I'm most active and I respond to everyone on there I guess that's it for now and I guess I'll have to see you guys in the next video peace so what you can do is add pitch shifter now what this does is it adds a higher tone